Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> what happened to Mark? <laughs> his hair grew overnight. <laughs> yeah, his hair grew. <laughs> this is Darcy James. Hello. A lot of you know who Darcy James is and our assistant and just a wonderful friend. Praise God. Actually, uh, been with us and I don't know how many years. Almost 21 Almost years. Almost 21 mm -hmm. years. Yes, ma'am. So you've uh, been at the birth of all of our all grandchildren. All of them. <laughs> Put them to sleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Darcy's here. Mark is out hunting. Yes, he's happy. <laughs> he is so happy. <laughs> he he had a little window of time, so he put it on the calendar and said, okay, Stan Pody, I'm coming up there. And guess what? It turned cold, just like it needs to be. Yep. And you know, yesterday he was out there washing out all his thermoses. Mm -hmm. He had piles of hunting coats. Get the camo things. ready. Get, the, get it all ready. <laughs> I think if men like to hunt, it's more about the stuff. Uh-huh. All almost. the equipment, yes, almost. yes. Yeah. All the gear. They like all that gear. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Kavis is here, yep. and he's giving us the thumbs up. Yes, <laughs> and yes, that's what it's all about. Yes, all about the gear. It is. And uh, so Darcy and I were talking this morning. Our fun is hunting a good bargain. Yes. <laughs> hunting Christmas decorations. <laughs> Christmas decorations. <laughs> it's that time. <laughs> So we're so excited to be together. Amen. Darcy, it's your first time, right? First time doing this. She's been sitting on the other side, taking notes and mm -hmm. answering, you know, little comments yep. and things on our uh, Facebook. Praise God. But now Amen. I said, come on, Darcy, I said, called her and said, you can do this. We're going to have fun Amen. today. <laughs> yes. And you know what we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about the joy of the Lord. Hey, Amen. That's a good one. That's a great topic. <laughs> and uh, we were just discussing that, you know, we've been going through COVID since, what, 2020? 2020. And, you know, it just kind of snuck in and, mm -hmm. and started doing its work and stuff. But you know what? I said, we have not partaken of the COVID depression. That's right. Amen. Amen. We have enjoyed life. Yep. Some of us, we've all gone through. Maybe yep. we all got sick. Uh -huh. But we came through. Came through. Yep, Praise with joy. God. With joy. Yes. That's yes. the truth. That's right. So um, I was uh, telling her, I said, did you ever hear about the land of Goshen? Uh-huh. Did, like, did you know? I never knew. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> Tell so, us about it. Well, when the children of Israel were captives, you know, they were slaves in Egypt. They lived in an area of Egypt called Goshen. And in that area, when the plague started happening, you know, when Moses came and said, let my people go, and Pharaoh hardened his heart, and then there was a plague, and there was, you know, signs like darkness. Uh -huh. It was light in the land mm -hmm. of Goshen. That's a good land. That's a good land. <laughs> so wherever they lived, it was light, it was safe, they were healthy, they did not have to partake of the darkness or the, the frogs. Yes. <laughs> the, Ooh, any of the praise the Lord. That's a happy land. <laughs> you don't like frogs. I don't do like you? frogs. <laughs> I don't do frogs. Darcy can do just about it. She's not afraid of much, but not a frog. Frogs too. and lizards. <laughs> frogs and lizards. <laughs> so... Um, Praise God. We believe that in Christ, Amen. we are partaking yes. of heaven's health, yes. joy, love, Amen. prosperity. Amen. Even though we live in this world, we're not of well, this were, world. Amen. But we've been born of God. We're partakers of the kingdom of God. In the kingdom, there is righteousness, righteousness peace, peace, and joy in, in the, the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. And while I was thinking about talking about joy with Darcy, I said, Darcy, you have the best laughter. <laughs> <laughs> when we're in church or wherever, yeah. you know, she gets peals of laughter. <laughs> it's like layers of it. Layers of it. <laughs> Praise God. So get your uh, Bible, get something to write with. We're going to have some good notes to take. Today our offer is The Secret Power of Joy. I This is one of my favorite books. It is. There's so many Amen. miracles in mm -hmm. here. If you only knew what happened in the spirit when you rejoice, yes. you would rejoice every day. Every day. 
unspeakable joy as a container for the glory of God. And joy is the bridge between believing and receiving. So we're going to talk about some of these yes. things. And I'm so excited. I believe there's miracles happening Amen. today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise because God. when you just decide, I'm going to act on that, I'm going to release the joy, mm -hmm. the power of God comes. Amen. He thrills you. Yes. Resurrection power explodes yes. in you. Praise God. You go from thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it, to I have already made Amen. it. Amen. God Amen. always causes me to turn Amen. Christ. Praise and joy God. is like a side effect of believing. Come if you're on. a believer, you got joy. joy. Joy is something that comes up out of a believer. You can't, uh, you can't have a sad believer. They're That's not right. really a believer. If you're a believer and you believe in Jesus and you believe in what he's done for you, there is going to be some joy. There is. And man, it's, it's a powerful force, mm -hmm. really. So it is. praise God. So it comes with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. who lives on the inside of us. Amen. And I like to say that, I like how you said that it's a product of a believer. Yeah. When you believe. It just comes because it's a fruit yes. of the Holy Spirit yes. who lives on the inside. Amen. The uh, Galatians 5, it talks about the mm -hmm. fruit of the Spirit. And that fruit, it, it says in the Amplified, is because His presence is Amen. in you. Amen. So today, mm -hmm. get ready because the presence of the Holy Spirit is filling you up. Yes. And changing impossible situations. Amen. Amen. And the first scripture I'd like to start with, it just came in, as we began mm -hmm. to pray over this session, and it is in Psalms 92 and verse 10. And of course, I have it in the Amplified mm -hmm. Bible. And it says, my horn or my emblem of excessive strength and stately grace, you have exalted like that of a wild ox or unicorn in the King mm -hmm. James, I think. Yep. He says, but this part I like, I am anointed with fresh oil, mm -hmm. fresh oil. So this, an, this is an anointing that yes. comes from heaven, Amen. comes from Jesus walked in that anointing. Hebrews 1 and verse 9 says, God has anointed Jesus. Yes. He anointed Jesus with the oil oh, of joy. joy. Above his fellows. Yes. Praise the Praise Lord. Because God. he loved righteousness mm -hmm. and hated iniquity. So there's uh, fresh oil, and it's oil of joy. joy. And, you know, we've been going through my healing book mm -hmm. uh, from the beginning to the end, going through scriptures. And uh, at the end of my book, I have a section that's called Maintain Your Healing. Mm -hmm. And so... It starts off with this verse. Mm -hmm. There's three things I put in there. Um, how to maintain your healing by meditation on the Word of God, feeding on the Word, and then maintain your healing through rejoicing. And then, uh, so we're going to focus on yes. that one. Yes, in I like Proverbs it. Proverbs <laughs> 17, 22. This is a yes. jump off scripture. A merry heart mm -hmm. does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. So I'm going to give you some translations of that. It says, a happy heart is a healing medicine. Praise God. Darcy, have you ever taken that medicine? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. When you need it. Yes, yes. And one of the things with medicine is when you take medicine, you take, you, the key to being effective is to take it regularly. And so I believe this joy is the same way, the way that it is effective in our lives is by taking it regularly. You can't miss a dose. You can't miss a day. Uh, but there, it's, it's a, a substance. It's a, it's a, it does something to us. And so by regularly rejoicing, regularly acting on the word, being full of joy, it, it affects our body, That's right. our actual body. That's Praise right. God. And Paul said, I want you to be well and prosper spirit, soul, oh, and body. So yes. we realize that you are a spirit mm -hmm. made in the image of God. That's important. That's important, know. yes. And you have a soul, mm -hmm. mind, will, and emotions, of course, your body. Mm -hmm. So what happens in your spirit has an effect mm -hmm. on your mind, your will, yes. your emotions, and your body. But I like this. This says a glad heart makes a healthy body. Yes. So what's going on in your heart yes. 
will affect your body, just Amen. like you said. Amen. And it is an excellent medicine. On the other hand, it says here in the Jerusalem translation, a spirit depressed wastes the bones away. Amen. So we've walked in joy, <laughs> but we have to say we've experienced some of that yeah, depression. Yeah. So tell us about, I think when you came here, you yes. were not such a happy little girl. <laughs> no, I was not. I had just gotten saved when I came here. And uh, this whole word of faith, uh, understanding the word, understanding who you are in Christ, all of that was brand new to me. And it was like my life was like a roller coaster. I'd have happy moments, uh, but learning to live in joy and live in the joy of the Lord was brand new to me. And so, um, man, catching, catching a hold of the truths here and catching a hold of uh, our, the identity that we have in Christ and learning that this joy is on the inside. Happiness is based on what happens and that you can't always change that you don't always have control over, but true joy comes on the inside and that comes from Jesus. And so as I started to learn, as I started to get the word and understand it, boy, that joy, it just like starts bubbling up on the inside. And I like what you just said. It's good. It, it, it touches your body, but if it touches your body, then it has to roll over to your soul as well. It has to have an impact and an effect on your soul as well, which is your mind, will, and emotions. So praise God, I have experienced it and experienced turnaround, and I am so thankful for the joy of the Lord because it's real. It is. This is not something you put on. You act in faith, but this is the real deal. This is, this is something that's authentic, and it's exactly. real. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Sometimes, you know, people, you know, of course, have to go to uh, doctors, get some medicine that's in a uh, mm -hmm. bottle, which is okay to get you through, but it's not authentic. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it doesn't come from the inside, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yep. It comes, uh, you know, and it might have some side effects yeah, yeah. that are not so good for other parts of your body. Mm -hmm. But um, the joy of the Lord comes right out of Him. Yes. And it is it works a medicine. A glad heart is an excellent medicine. Yes. So like you said, Darcy, mm -hmm. having joy on schedule. Yes, yep. You said you gotta yep. take your medicine yep. on schedule mm -hmm. um, and continually. Um, so does that mean that you can laugh on cue? You can, I'll tell you what, you just, and, and it's, the crazy thing is you can tap into this joy and uh, it, it, tr it triggers something on the inside of you. It activates your spirit because that's the real you. That's who you are. And so when you do that, it's like it just um, it releases that joy, which is your strength. It affects other parts of your body. It brings life and medicine. Uh, it just it works in every way. And you can do it. And, and you can do it by faith. So it's not like you have to wait till you got goosebumps or the choir hits the right note. That's easy. You can really respond in joy in those times, but you can do it at will. It's an act of faith. Praise God. And, uh, you know, when you hear good news. Yes. Right? Yeah, that's right. When you hear good news, it changes your yes, attitude. Yes. Well, what is the gospel? Yes. It's, it's good, good news. news. That's right. <laughs> so I always like it if you're in the congregation when Mark is preaching. <laughs> You know, Darcy's in the house, and because joy is in the house, That's right. and you hear that laughter right there. <laughs> and Mark, what what happens when you preach the gospel? It's, yes. it's good news that Jesus took your place. Yes, it's good news that He broke the chains. Amen. It's good news that He has done something that affects you. Mm -hmm. um, he bore our sins. Mm -hmm. He bore our shame. Yes. And you know, sometimes we're, we're trying to just be happy. Mm -hmm. But if you go back mm. to the gospel, yes, the gospel is where the power is. Mm -hmm. um, last night we were in church and, Mark, and Aaron mm -hmm. is preaching and quoting out of Isaiah 53. Yes. And he, he was wounded for our transgressions. Mm -hmm. Jesus was bruised mm -hmm. for our iniquities. Yes. The chastisement yes. for our peace yes. is upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Mm -hmm. And wherever Jesus went in his earth yes. ministry, he preached the gospel. Yes. He preached this good news. And then he laid hands on people uh -huh. 
And when he did, they were healed. Yes. He went everywhere yes. preaching that gospel. Yes. And sad people got glad. Yes, amen. And the good news is you don't have to stay the way you, you are. Don't have to you stay. don't have to stay in the, whatever condition, whether it's sick, whether it's broken, whether it's poor, whether yeah. it's bound. The great news of the gospel that Jesus brings is you don't have to stay the same. And boy, praise God for that. Amen. amen. That is so good. So the reception, hearing the gospel. Yeah. And then believing, like you said, yes. believe it, believe yep. it. And then you said, uh, you mentioned to me one of your favorite mm -hmm. verses is um, 1 Peter 1, 8 and 9. It says, whom having not seen, have any one of you seen Jesus face to face? <laughs> not everybody. But Peter said, you love him. Yeah. How many love yes, him? Yes, amen. I love him. In whom though you see him not now, Yet believing. Yes, yet believing. believing. You might just say right now, I'm a believer. Amen. S that's step number one. Yep. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Yet believing, what do you do? You're going to, you there's rejoice. action. Yes. You rejoice. Yes. With joy unspeakable. Amen. This is that Holy Ghost joy that doesn't come from outside. Yes. That everything's just right and you're feeling just right, but it comes on the inside. inside yes. It's from the Holy Spirit. Yes. It's from his presence. And he says, you rejoice with that joy. He mm -hmm. gave you the joy yes. to rejoice yes. with. Yes. And it's full of glory. Amen. Amen. Receiving the end of your faith, mm -hmm. even the salvation, salvation of your soul. So Mark says, yes. joy is the bridge. Yes. I like that, yes. don't you? Yes, amen. It's a bridge between believing and receiving. Believing so and you receiving. believe. Yes, yes. You rejoice, you yes. go over the bridge, and on the other side, you got it. Yes, amen. It's receiving. And the great Tell thing, me. I think, is that sometimes when you think about the process, it feels like this to this can be so long. Right. You've stood in faith, you're believing God, whatever, and it's like, is this ever going to happen? The great thing to me is when you when you make the connection, right. be joy. It doesn't have to be a burden. It doesn't have to be a horrible waiting time. Oh, I'm just waiting on the Lord. No. Get full of joy. Get full of strength. And it all works together. Our, when we're full of uh, the, the joy of the Lord, we're full of strength. Our faith is strong. And that, is, that just uh, increases the connection and gets us to the believing side. And man, that, oh, that's so good. I love that picture of that bridge. Joy is always in the mix. It's in the mix. If you're believing God, yes. you got to have some joy. Yes, I mean, yes. James 1 you yep. know, if you're going through a really difficult yep. trial, mm -hmm. what does that say? Let's look at that. Yes. James, the first chapter. And um, I think James had some trouble. Yes. He had some persecution. <laughs> and so he talked about it. And it's interesting how mm -hmm. he put joy right in the middle of a yes. trial. Yes. Yep. So count it all, all joy. joy. Yes. My brethren. When you are in the Amplified said, enveloped, Ooh. that means you are completely covered <laughs> and you encounter trials Trouble. of any sort. So you count it joy, joy. all joy. Mm -hmm. Have you done that? Ooh, I have. And, and it's something that you actually, uh, sometimes you get more practice than you want. <laughs> But it is true when you hit those difficult times, those, those challenging times, what are you going to do? If worrying would help, it would be worth doing, but it doesn't help. Mm -mm. So when you start counting it all joy, looking at the situation, you know, it may not be what you want, but you start counting it all joy. As soon as you start counting it joy, I believe it begins to turn. Right. It's just, it, it triggers something, it begins to turn. And then you go from the believing to the receiving, but it's counting it joy mm -hmm. that starts it on the process of turning mm -hmm. and turning for our good, turning for the will of God. The scripture says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Strength, so yes. That's energy. Yes. So you're going over this bridge. <laughs> yeah. You're believing. Yeah. And you're rejoicing. So that joy is your, it, it empowers you. Yes to move from the state of believing mm -hmm. to receiving. Yes. So ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so there's different uh, levels of joy. I mean, you can start with just like having mm -hmm. a calm delight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But then you, you can take it up and up. up. Yeah. 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 It's like if you get a, a Coca-Cola or something. Oh, yeah. 
you got you got the fizz in there. Yep. But then when you start shaking it Shake up, it up, baby. It's going to hey. start bubbling. Yes. Bubbling. So you have the joy. So why don't you just say, I have the joy of the Lord. I have the joy of the Lord. Amen. It is my strength. It is my strength. So that's believing. Yes. Comes with the action of saying it. Yes, yes. I have yes. the joy of the Lord. Amen. And when you say it, uh, the power of death and life is the power of death and life is in the power of the tongue. Oh, so when good. you say it, it just brings life to your situation. It brings light to your situation. And and again, once you say that, it just starts to turn things. It's, and you get your mouth going the right direction. Yes, get your faith right. in the right direction. And it starts to build that road, that build bridge. Road. Amen. And Mark says. Uh, the door of the supernatural Amen. opens by believing. believing. So you're believing, yep. but you're rejoicing is your action. Yes. You open the door to yes. the supernatural, mm -hmm. just like this, count it all joy. So you're looking at that difficulty, you're looking at impossibility, and instead of, you know, you can open the door mm -hmm. to darkness. Yes. In fact, I was talking to uh, Aaron last night, he said, depression. It's like you open the door to a dark staircase mm -hmm. and you start going down. Mm -hmm. And then you just keep going down and going down. Mm -hmm. If you can do that, if you can open the door yes. to fear, you can open the door to that. What are you doing? It's in your imagination, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yep. Maybe a thought. Yep. Have you ever experienced Oh, it? yeah, I have. And, and, and when, you, when you open that door, it's, um, there's a pull. There's an enemy. And there is, there is, uh, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He would like no more than to pull you into that dark place. Mm -hmm. And so when we uh, give way to that, it's, it's almost like a funnel and it just kind of pulls you in and sucks you in. But as, as soon as you take, uh, you know, take, take a stand in faith and to be, uh, first thing you do is, is speak and then rejoice and that activates your faith and then your faith can bring you out of any pit and it can turn in God specializes in turning things around but we have our part to play as well sometimes I think we expect God to do everything but we have our part to play he gave us the faith he gave us the joy he gave us the authority he gave us our, our words and he expects us to do our part and then we do what we can do in the natural. We do what we know to do by faith. And then he specializes in turning things around. And the same way you got down in that dungeon or that dark place, the same way you got down there by meditating, by saying things, the same way you did that, you can meditate on the right things. You can say the right things and God will bring you out of that pit. Just the same way you got in, he can bring you out by speaking words of faith and words of hope. That's so good, Darcy. Amen. So instead of going down the staircase. Mm -hmm. You just turn that thing around. Start going up. Yeah. With words of faith, you move up. Yes. And you get into the very presence of the Lord mm -hmm. where there's peace. Yes. Jesus said, Jesus cares. He you know, does. What a wonderful Jesus. He lived uh, and walked on the earth and he cares about people. He Amen. said, come to me. Mm -hmm. Come to me if you're laboring, you're heavy laden. I'll give you rest. Yes. I'll take your burdens. Mm -hmm. Take my yoke on you. Yes. Learn of me. Mm -hmm. You'll find peace. You'll find rest for your soul. Yes. And then he says, he talks a lot about the Father, how the mm -hmm. Father cares for you. He knows what you need. Yes. You know, I think just realizing that, Darcy, knowing that we have a Father who yes. cares for us. Yes. So we can look to him just like an earthly father. Mm -hmm. Jesus compared the uh, father God to an earthly father. Mm -hmm. If a child asks for something from your father mm -hmm. in the earth, how much more will yes. the heavenly father mm -hmm. give you what you need? Yes. And so Jesus is in always encouraging us to take our uh, difficulties, our needs, our requests, to God. Mm -hmm. And in John 16 and verse um, 23, he says, there's coming a time. Mm -hmm. He was looking forward to our time. Yeah. And he says, uh, you will not ask me for anything. At that time, all the disciples said, Jesus, I need you this. I need you to heal yeah. me. I need you to raise my baby mm -hmm. from the dead. Whatever it was, Jesus. But he said, there's coming a time. You won't ask me yeah. of anything. Whatever mm -hmm. you ask the Father, the Father in my name, mm -hmm. He'll do it yes. for you. Yes, you know. So when you're going through those difficult, yes. you're going down, 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 yeah. down. Stop. Stop. Say, Father, 
The moment we yes. breathe the name mm -hmm. of the Father, yes. He hears you. Yes. He runs to your cry, yes. the scripture says. He comes to rescue you. Yes. And he says, don't ask me, ask the Father. Yes. And he said, he will grant you whatever Ever. you ask yes. in my name. Yes. So just think about this. When you pray to the Father, in the name of Jesus, it's just like Jesus yes. talking to God. Praise God. Will God say no to Jesus? Uh -uh. No. No. No, because when you pray and you speak his word and you are in agreement with him and you call out mm -hmm. on his name, maybe you just a baby Christian. Yeah. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter. He comes. Yes. And then he says in verse 24, up to this time, you've not asked a single thing in my name. Yes. But Jesus said this. And I think this is our step yep. of going yep. over the bridge. Yep. Ask and you shall receive yes. so that you meet your destination. Yes, yes. Your joy will Amen. be full. What happens? Your joy gets full. And something happens when you get joyful. Mm -hmm. You start receiving, mm -hmm. even though you don't have it, yep. like in your hand. Yep. Have you ever done that? Yeah, absolutely. You get it before you get it. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you get the, you the get thing you're believing heart. for, the thing you're praying for. It's like you get it by faith before you ever receive it in the natural. And so, man, you get it. And then when it shows up, you're like, well, I've already got it. I've already had it because I've rejoiced about it. I've believed for it. So it's like your second time getting it. You get it before you get it. You get it before you yes. get it. Yes, amen. So um, what does it do? You know, depression works on your imagination. Yeah. yeah. We know that. Mm -hmm. And you enter in that deep hole. But what about uh, joy? What does it do on your imagination? Oh man, it totally changes everything. It, uh, when you are aware, it's, it's like a, having a perspective shift. Um, it reminds me of, I've heard the story before of like a magnifying glass and you take a magnifying glass and if you magnify something on the ground, um, it, it gets bigger. That's really not true. It gets bigger to you. So whatever you're magnifying, it gets bigger to you. But the same way, when we magnify Jesus, Jesus can't get any bigger than he already is. But when we magnify him, he gets bigger to us. And so to me, when you tap into that joy, it's just taking, it's like a perspective shift. You're looking one way and you just make an adjustment and everything changes. When sometimes all we need is a new perspective. And to me, the joy, when you start rejoicing, you, you shift your perspective from your problems, your situation, what you're going through, all that's around here, and you go up higher. When you're up higher, you can see things from God's perspective. You see that you're always triumphant. You see that you're a new creature in Christ. You see that he makes all things new. And it totally changes everything and undoes whatever, whatever needs to be fixed. That's the truth. It's, just, it's powerful. It, the joy. Yes. It's uh, so supernatural. Yes. Something we need to treasure mm -hmm. and cultivate mm -hmm. and grow yes. in it and um, not do without it no, every day. Yes, amen. It's uh, more, it's medicine. Vital. Right? Mm -hmm. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. And we can take joy like medicine. Mm -hmm. And so it's vital, like you said, and um, it just should come. And when you get born again, mm -hmm. it is a manifestation. I'm, I'm telling you. Yes. Can you testify <laughs> you had some joy? <laughs> Man, when I before I got saved, I was so depressed. Tell and honestly, I, I was at the point of wanting to end my life. And I, I lived I grew up in Montana and I, I remember driving around thinking how I could find a cliff to go off of. I was so hopeless without mm. Jesus. I was so broken. I was so yeah. depressed. The things that I thought would bring me fullness in my life. Whenever I received those things, they didn't. I was so empty. Because you were a basketball I was. champion. Yeah, I played college basketball. In the natural, it seemed like, oh, you know, I've you got it together. You held a championship. Yeah. I mean, a record. A record. I had a full ride scholarship. In the natural, it seemed those things were what I thought would bring me joy. Mm -hmm. But you know what? No accolade, no achievement, nothing can really bring you joy. Mm -mm. Only Jesus can bring you joy. And I remember when I, uh, that night, I remember that it was a Saturday night driving around thinking, if I went off that cliff, nobody would ever know. Nobody would ever find me. 
They would never know I was missing. And I wouldn't be, that's how I felt, I was that low. But you know, I had a, a teacher that had a witness to me when I was in the eighth grade. Six years prior, a teacher had witnessed to me and they told me God loved me and had a plan for my life. So and just that, you didn't Those know. words, that's all, I, that's all I knew, but mm -hmm. those words were so powerful. They were words of life. Mm -hmm. And so I went to, I thought, you know what? That night I kept thinking, I'm gonna just end it all. And I went, but he, I remember his invitation. And so I went to church the next day and I went to that altar and I gave my heart to, I didn't know anything about altar calls. I didn't know how you do church. I didn't know any of that. But when I gave my heart to Jesus, the, the hopelessness, that people experience is real. It absolutely is real. When you don't have Jesus, you should be hopeless. <laughs> but when you have Jesus, you have hope. And when I got Jesus, I got joy. That was one of the things. It's, it's a great trade. I gave my life. I laid my life down for him. And I got joy. I got peace. I got strength. I got purpose. I got vision. I got, I got a reason to live again. You got to laugh. I got, yes, I did. <laughs> and people say, you're always so happy. You always laugh. And I'm like, if you only knew. Every <laughs> once in a while, I have pictures from my childhood and I'll look at it and I'm thinking, man, I was pathetic <laughs> without Jesus. But man, he, he turns everything around. He turns everything. And he, he has done that for me, man. I'm so thankful. I love the scripture. I wanted to read uh, Psalms 126, if that's okay. And it says in Psalms 126, of when the Lord turned again, the captivity of Zion. And I like that word again, because if he turned it once, he can turn it again. Some of you, I believe, you know, you maybe have had a turnaround and maybe you've slipped back into a dark place again. If God turned it once, he can turn it again. And that's good news for you. It says, we were like them that dreamed that our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. Then said they among the heathens, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad. And I love it in the Amplified. It says, we were like those who dream. It seemed so unreal. And I'll tell you, this life I'm living, this life, I remember when I got saved, it's like a dream. Like I never even dreamed or had this concept. It, life could be this good. And I remember when I first started hearing the in Christ teaching mm -hmm. and the, the spirit of faith teaching, right. it seemed like it was too good to be true. Right. But the amazing thing is, it is true. It is true. <laughs> and you start walking in it and yeah. it's like, you know, there's certain times that I just get overwhelmed thinking about how far I, off I used to be yeah. and where God's brought me. And boy, it makes you glad. <laughs> it brought you out of darkness. Yes, a horrible a pit. Yes, light. amen. Thank God. Thank and if God. he does it for one, oh. I like it on my healing book. At the, yes, the, uh, yeah, the very the bad. The very bad. Mm -hmm. I love this translation. It's the message. And it says, uh, I didn't die. Uh-huh. I lived. Yes. And I'm declaring and I'm telling what the Lord, uh, what the world, I'm telling the world, world. what God what did. What God did. I'm, I have different translations in my yes. mind. I didn't die. You've mm -hmm. got to tell mm -hmm. what Jesus yes. has done. So today, yes. I believe this contagious joy yes. is catching somebody on fire with Amen. hope Amen. for your future. And um, your past doesn't have to mm -hmm. Uh, determine mm -hmm. what your future is going to be like. Amen. Because sometimes, you know, you're looking in your past. Have you ever looked at anybody and you know, I've, I've done it with you, I think, when you first start now mm. on this road of faith, mm. I said, Darcy, no, 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 no. I could see she was looking back. Yeah. It was in her eyes. Don't look there. Don't look down. Don't look back. Yes. Don't look back. Mm -hmm. Look at the word. Look up. Yep. Lift your eyes. Yes. And so that's your expectation. Yes. You're not going back down mm -hmm. there. Mm -mm. You're not going back in your past. Mm -mm. We're going forward. There's nothing to go back There's to. There's nothing to go back nothing to. Nothing to go back to. Yeah. And that's what Hebrews yes. 12 says. Looking, Looking unto Jesus. Jesus, yes. The author. He began a good yes. work in you. Yes. He will bring, bring it to it. full completion. Full completion. He's the author and the finisher, finisher. of your faith. And then it says about him, who for the, the joy, joy that was set before yes. him, he endured the cross. cross. So sometimes yes. there is some bridge climbing. Yep. Bridge climbing. You know, endurance. What, you know, you've prayed about something. Yeah. God has given you his word. You're rejoicing over it. 
but it seems like, wow, where is that? Mm -hmm. But your hope, when we hope in God, mm -hmm. it never runs out. Yeah. I love the uh, Romans yep. 5. <laughs> it's just was, good, good, good. Yes. I rejoice over their word. Come on, Romans yes, 5. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Paul was saying, you know, we're justified by faith. Yes. We have peace with God. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. And then it says in verse 2, through him also we have our access, access yes. woo, into this grace where we stand. Mm -hmm. So we're believing and we come into a place of grace. Yes. Now stand in that grace. What is that? That's his word to yes. you. That's his ability. That's his favor. That's his smile on mm -hmm. your life. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And then it says we stand in that in verse 2. And, and yeah. let us rejoice yes. and exult. Why? Because rejoicing always, like what you said, it makes you look forward. Yep, propels you. It propels yes. you forward. Yes. Where are we going? We're going into mm -hmm. an experience. Mm -hmm. Woo Amen. <laughs> of the glory of God. Yes. What is the glory? That means the answer to your prayer. Yes. Amen. That means the fullness of what mm -hmm. God has promised to you. Yes. Praise God. Don't give that. Yes. You've got to keep that hope and that rejoicing going. Yeah. And that leads you to verse 3. This is Romans 5, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Moreover. So Paul says, okay, you're rejoicing. Moreover. Yeah. We're going to keep on going. Let us be full of joy. Full of joy, not Amen. a little bit of doubt, yep. not a little bit of sadness. Mm -mm. Come on, we don't Get entertain. Full. Get full. We don't sit around mm -hmm. and, read and watch those those movies on TV and cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We don't uh -uh. feel sorry. No. But come on, slap yourself. Say stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> come on, every door that you know you've walked through that goes down those stairs. Shut it. Yep. Resist. And people, they get so, I believe people get so used to mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. They get so used to yep. just living that way that they they don't know anything else. They don't know. There is a better way. There is a better way. There is a way out. And so uh, shake that off and know that God wants his desire. Like what we qu quoted third, third John at the beginning, third John two, beloved above all things, I wish that you would prosper and Amen. be in health. And, and being in health and, and all of that, that's that's a joy-filled life. It is. Amen. And that's God's will for you. Don't it don't is. stay in that, that place stay. of depression or defeat. Right. Really, it's a place of defeat. Right. It is. Amen. It is. And we're not born into no. defeat. We're born of God. Yes. yes. He always causes us to try. Yes. Amen. So, but we got to work with our mind yes. sometimes. Because our mind, you know, mm -hmm. has all these, it can think all kinds <laughs> of things. But... You're not a mind, you're a spirit. Spirit, And That's you got right. the word so you can overcome yes. and get over the bridge. <laughs> Amen. It says in verse 3, moreover, this is Romans 5, 3, let us also be full of joy. So I like how it says full of joy. There's no room for mm -hmm. anything yeah, else. Yeah, that's right. Full, full. of joy now. Or like um, if you're filling a glass with water, and you want a glass full. You want it to overflow. You just keep it yeah. under the spout yep. until it overflows. Yep. So sometimes we get a little taste of yeah, joy. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then we go, okay, I got it. Uh -uh. No, you don't. No, yes. <laughs> it's his will for us to be full of joy. Overflowing. Overflowing. Yes. yes, yes. So keep on drinking. You know, we always say we drink. Jesus yes. said, come to me and drink. Amen. And out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. And he was speaking about the Holy Spirit. And so he says, moreover, let us be full of joy now. Let us exult and triumph. Yes. It says, in our troubles. Ooh. In our troubles. Yeah. So you're on this bridge yep. and it's going over a bunch of trouble. <laughs> what are we doing? Woo. All the way over. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and we're looking to Jesus. Yes. Yes. My joy is in you. You're yes. the fullness of my, I've asked. Yes. I received. Yes. My joy is full. Yes. And what's happening all the way? We're triumphing. That means you're winning. Yes. In every trouble and you're rejoicing in your suffering. Now, Paul knew about that. Yeah. He knew how to yeah. sing. Yeah. 
Paul and Silas yeah. in jail. Yes. And the great thing about it is all, all our job is, is to believe. Our part is And belief. God is the performer. And we can rejoice because we don't have to do anything. We don't have to make anything happen. We just believe. We keep our, the, the switch of faith on and let God do his part. I That's love right. that. We don't have to. I'm so thankful we don't have to make it happen. No. But God, he, he makes it happen. He is a miracle. Yes, worker. yes. So our part, he wants to do that miracle. And mm -hmm. our faith is exhibited. And you can tell you got faith when you have joy. Yes, amen. You say, well, I'm not, I don't know if I'm using my faith. Well, just rejoice. That's your faith. <laughs> That's your faith. Praise God. Amen. It's your faith. And when do you do that? In your trouble. Yeah. And you rejoice right in the middle of your suffering. Yes. And in my suffering. I remember, um, you know, having a lot of suffering, uh, well, a lot of fear mm -hmm. at different times. Yeah. And, you know, just going back to the brain tumor thing, that was some, you know, some <laughs> suffering. Yeah. And... Uh, Right in the middle of that, I would get, I would get my guitar out mm -hmm. and I'd start singing. They laid hands on me yep. in the mighty name of Jesus. That healing power went yes. all through me. Bondage yeah. gave way to liberty. The power of healing is greater than the power of sickness and disease. His resurrection power yes. is greater and yes. it's working in me now yep. effectually and as you sing there's something about singing yeah. like Paul and Silas you know you yes. might not be a really good singer yeah, but just amen. go ahead and sing <laughs> there's that sound that comes out and it's Holy Ghost yes. he'll join with you mm -hmm. in your song of praise yeah. and that's what happened mm -hmm. Paul and Silas they mm -hmm. rejoice yes. and heaven rejoices with you yes. So while you're on that bridge, you're rejoicing. Heaven's rejoicing with you. Praise God. And that's when great power, great yes. overcoming strength, miracles yes. take place. Yes. You're right in the middle of the atmosphere yeah. for a miracle. Mm -hmm. Right in your kitchen, you might be jumping yes. and shouting. Yes. Right in your car, you might go, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> There's a miracle. It Amen. says it. That produces patient and unswerving endurance mm. strength. Mm -hmm. And verse 4 says, and endurance, it develops your character. Yeah, yeah. So you're becoming, a, uh, you're going from being a baby in this mm -hmm. to strong and mature. Yeah. And no matter what comes your way, you're not changing. Yeah. I am going to be hopeful. Yeah. I'm going to be full of joy. And I'm going to know that God is coming through. It says mm -hmm. it produces a joyful and confident hope yes. of eternal salvation. Praise God. So we're, this is not just for a day. Mm -hmm. This is forever. It's a lifetime. Amen. Amen. And it takes you all the way to your destination. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. You say that scripture it reminds me just if you turn over to Romans 15, Romans 15, oh, 13. Yes. It says, now the God of hope fill you with all joy. Again, you can't have believing without joy. They're connected. So fill you with, with, with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. And I like this in the Passion <laughs> Translation. Oh, read it. It says, now may God, the inspiration yes. and fountain of hope. Ooh, fountain of hope. Praise God. Amen. Fill you to overflowing with uncontainable joy and perfect peace. Man, Amen. those are some powerful, that's Amen. powerful Amen. words. Right? Uncontainable joy. You can't contain it. It's got to come out in some other way. And perfect peace as you trust in him. And may the power of the Holy Spirit continually surround your life with his super abundance until you radiate with hope. Radiate. Man, I'll tell you what, the world needs people. You're radiating, Darcy. <laughs> the world needs people radiating yes. with hope. Yes. All around, we look around, there's people that are hopeless, that are down, that are struggling. Man, this is, this is the key right here. When you walk in the room and your face Woo. is radiating, radiating glowing with, hope. with joy <laughs> <laughs> and hope. Yes. You're bubbling over. Bubbling That's over. what it says in the Amplified. You may abound and be overflowing, bubbling over. Bubbling so you're over. Shaking that up <laughs> and you are running yes. over. So yes. you're contagious. Yep. That's what Mark was saying the other day. He got he was in a line and he got <laughs> out of this you know how they draw those yeah. circles on the floor, you uh -huh. know, you're supposed to stay right here and stay a distance <laughs> from your neighbor, you know, in the line. And he forgot. He, he got, got out a of a line. Close to the person in front of him and mm -hmm. and she looked at him like <gasps> 
uh -huh. you know, just fearful. Oh, yeah. I'm going to catch something. He said, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I got a little mm -hmm. out of my space. Yeah. His and then he said spot. this. He said, you might want what I have. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we got the spirit of faith. Amen. We got the joy of the Lord. We are contagious. <laughs> joy is Amen. contagious. Now, have you ever been laughing or heard laughter Ooh. and it made you laugh? Yes, out? yes, absolutely. Just hearing you laugh makes me laugh. <laughs> that's what happens sometimes <laughs> in the Holy Ghost meetings. Yeah. Man, some, some the Holy Ghost will start, you know, working in somebody and that joy will start bubbling up. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about you. <laughs> It's not just about me. I, it, the person on the row, the same row, you may need it. Praise God. And it's it. contagious. You just keep passing it back. But I'll tell you what, it, it changes things. Yes. And, and I remember the first couple of times that I um, saw this or, yeah. or experienced it, it was like, okay. You know, this is, but then when it starts flowing in you and you start yielding to the Holy Ghost in that way, Oh, it's like the power of God. It's a power. And it's, it's help comes. Yes. Strength comes. This yes. isn't just, you know, oh, it'll give you goosebumps. Right. No, there, there's something powerful that happens on the inside. My believing would go to another level. My strength would go to another level. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My, my hope would go to another level. Right. And it's, oh, it's, it's the real deal. It just deal. opens up your imagination for, we need our imaginations yeah. expanded. Yeah. You know, Abraham believed yes. great promises yes. Yes. when he began to praise God yes. and got full of joy. Yes. And Sarah, mm -hmm. even, she got pregnant. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. So something happens when we get filled with joy. We get pregnant yes. with the mind of God, with the ability and the a promise of God. Amen. She was old. Her body was way too old to have yes. a baby. But mm -hmm. she was rejuvenated yes. as she began to ha laugh. She mm -hmm. was laughing. Mm -hmm. It says in Hebrews 11, 11, mm -hmm. he yep. caught, he, she got strength. Drink. She was strengthened when she laughed. Yeah. And then she was pregnant with Amen. Isaac. His name was Laughter. Amen. So God wants to insert his thoughts. Yeah. He wants us to be, and yeah. but that's what happens when we get filled with joy that's in the so Holy true. Ghost. You start thinking things you would have never thought. Yes, about. yes. Yeah, he gives you a whole new vision. I love what you were just sharing. I was just thinking about that scripture because faith and joy, we, we believe in the spirit of faith, but they work together. They work together. They work together. And I love in Romans 4, uh, verse 17, this is in the message talking about Abraham and Sarah. It says, we call Abraham the father, not because he got God's attention right. by acting like a saint. This is in the message. <laughs> but because he, he made... wasn't a saint. No, okay, but because Paul. God <laughs> made something out of Abraham when he was a nobody. So it doesn't matter where you're starting. God can make something out of you. Isn't that what we read in the scriptures? I set you up as the father of many people. Abraham was the first named father, then became a father. So he got it before he got it. Um, because Say he, it again. Abraham was first named father, then he became a father. So Abraham, God called him a father. Yes. But not only God called him a father. Yeah. He said, well, if you call me a father, I'm going to call I'm a myself a yeah. father. Yeah. So he his name was changed. And he, he said, I am Abraham. Ham. And that H stands for God's name. Yeah. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. And I'm a father. Amen. Praise God. So he was first named father and then became a father because he dared to trust that God to, could do what only God could do. He raised the dead to life with a word. He made something out of nothing. When everything was hopeless, Abraham believed in a way, deciding not to live on the basis of what he saw he couldn't do, but on what God said he would do. Y'all, that makes you want to, that makes you shift. full of joy. That's yes. a total shift in the perspective. And so he was made the father of the multitude of people. And he said, you're going to have a really big family, Abraham. <laughs> 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 Praise God. I Amen. like that. That's believing so in joy. He shifted mm -hmm. his expectation, what he was looking at. Yes. From his past. Yes. From his family. He mm -hmm. left all that. Mm -hmm. Some of you might need to say, okay, uh -huh. I'm going to stand out. I'm not being like my family. Mm -hmm. I'm going into a new yes. land, so to speak. Yes. And I'm going to keep my eyes. I'm going to believe God's promise. Amen. I'm going to even change my name. Yes. Amen. I'm going to be full of joy. Yep. And get rid of those titles. Yes. Oh, I'm depressed or I'm broken. Or, no, get rid of those titles. You know, the 12-step program is a good program, but it, it leaves you, I'm always like an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. 
and you you say mm -hmm. that about yourself. No, in Christ, yes. you're a new person. Amen. Old things are gone. Yes. The person you are is united with Christ. Yes. Everything that's in him is in you. You make you are one spirit with him. First yeah. Corinthians six seventeen. Yeah. Did you ever see Jesus depressed? No, no. No, the no. only place he could he was a man of sorrows. Yeah was in his substitutionary work yeah. when he took your pain, yes. when he took my sorrow. He bore the sins and the depression, mm -hmm. everything on himself. Why? Yeah. So he could break its power. Yes. So he could put it under his feet. Amen. And if you are in Christ, yes. you are in someone who is triumphant, yes. victorious, yes. happy, yes. full of joy. And I think just acknowledging our union with yeah. Christ. Yeah. Praise God. Like Amen. Abraham said, mm -hmm. I'm a father. Mm -hmm. Yep. Acknowledge it. Doesn't look like it. Yep. Maybe, you, you know, the evidence around you doesn't yeah. look like it. Yeah. But go ahead and say, I'm full of joy. Amen. Amen. I love thanks be unto God who always, always causes us to triumph in always. Christ. Amen. So that's what you declare, whether it looks like you're triumphing or not. But thanks be unto God who always causes you to triumph. And the triumph is really the celebration. Celebration. So we're, we're celebrating. The victory's already been won. And I like the example. Um, we live, in, of course, in Louisiana. And so we like Saints football, okay, the New Orleans Saints. Oh, yeah. And so Who some did? time ago, yes, yeah, some time ago, it's been a while now, but we won the Super Bowl. And uh, we had church on a night one time. I remember Pastor Aaron telling this story, and there was a football game on that night. Yeah. And it was a playoff game. It was a big game. And so he had uh, recorded it, and when he got home, he was planning on watching the football game. <laughs> <laughs> and so the problem was his neighbors were watching the live version of the game. And so about Pastor Aaron's fast forwarding through the commercials and he's trying to get to the end. It was a really close game. And then pretty soon he heard fireworks. <laughs> he heard people screaming and hollering and running down the streets. Louisiana football, it's a big deal. He was about halfway through the fourth quarter, but the game he knew had already been won. Been won. <laughs> the celebration had started. And in Christ, the celebration's already started. Already we started. always win. We're always triumphant. And we can just rejoice and act like rejoice. it because it'll happen. Just think if we had a triumph, a triumph uh -huh. that's a party. Yeah. Every day. I guess we need to. We need to. Just rejoice. And when we yes. get together, we yes. rejoice. Praise God. Amen. Let some fireworks come Yeah, on. get some off. <laughs> come on. The joy yes. of the Lord is our strength, and we are celebrating. It's Amen. not just a football game. Uh-uh. We are celebrating yes. the victory that Jesus won for us through his blood. Yes. And he bought us and he brought us out of darkness into marvelous light. Praise God. We're not going down that staircase uh -uh. of depression no. and getting deeper and deeper mm -hmm. in that hole. But we are looking up yes. into Jesus, the author and the finisher yes. of faith. Come on. We have victory in your future. Victory Amen. now. Victory Victory's even in your past because yep. your past doesn't go yep. further than Jesus. Yep. It stops right there. It stops Hallelujah. There. Amen. Amen. That's good news. <laughs> That's the gospel. And the gospel always brings joy. It does. It's good news. Look how happy we are. <laughs> I feel like I've been helped in, just in this last few minutes here. Aren't you glad you, you joined me today? Amen. Yes. I knew we'd have fun. <laughs> Praise God. And I believe whoever's watching Amen. and whenever you're watching that this is a right on time yes. word yes. for you. Yes. And you just go in the scriptures. You can get our scripture study mm -hmm. guide out. It's got so many mm -hmm. verses. We, we just barely scratch the yeah. surface. I like this one. Job 522. Yes. Destruction in yes. family. Yes. I will laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it says you shall laugh at war and famine. You'll shrug off disaster and famine. Ha ha ha. ha, ha, ha. How can that affect me? I mean, yep, guys. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Oh, so many good. One more. I got one more. Got Therefore, got with joy, you draw water out of the wells of salvation. <laughs> That's Amen. That's what we're doing. We're, we're doing it. We just draw on water out. We're pulling up salvation. The New Living says, with joy, you will drink deeply from the fountain of salvation. Drink deeply. Oh, everything salvation so joy is. is Bucket. Yeah, it's your bucket. That's your bucket. That's how you how you get it out. <laughs> get it out with some joy. Ha ha ha. And what's happening? Yes, it's rich. It's coming all over. Help. Amen. Healing. Prosperity follows joy. Amen. It's amazing. Acts 5, 13, 52. The disciples yes. were continually filled with two things: joy and the Holy Ghost. Yes. So wherever you get joy, the You're Holy Ghost. get the Holy Ghost. Here. And you know that's how I got healed. Yeah. Yeah. In the hospital, yes. going down the 
a hallway to get a, a brain surgery, you know. Yeah. And I laughed. That's, the whole not, way. that's not typically the, the greatest time to laugh. <laughs> no, I was laying on that gurney going down the hall looking at the tiles. I remember. Uh -huh. And the Holy Spirit spoke that scripture, Romans 8 11. Yes. The same spirit, spirit that raised Christ from Praise the dead God. will quicken your mortal body. I said, Oh, the Holy Ghost. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. And he feels he you comes with joy. joy. He feels with joy. <laughs> And I woke up from that surgery and there was no tumor. Hey, the hallelujah. Not, I, so I believe there's a meltdown. It's yes, resurrection power. Yes. The meltdown. Miracles. Any uh, resistance, any problem. God's going ahead of you. He's concerned about your yes, life. Amen. He cares about you more than you know. Yes. And just pray about yes. everything. Don't yes. worry. <laughs> and then release your faith. Yes. Go from believing yes. over the bridge. With rejoicing. Yes, some today. praising, yes, some worshiping. Some praise, yes. Laugh. Yes. Draw that uh, river of joy out of your belly with uh -huh. laughter and take your medicine. Yes. yes. Drink and then receive. Yes. Receive. Get ready to receive. Receive. Get ready to receive. Yes. Praise Amen. God. So we have, uh, I've been studying out of my book this uh, may, about the healing, God's healing mm -hmm. word and maintaining your healing with mm -hmm. joy. Yeah. So we're going through that. And then this book is so good. Oh, it's a good one. Yes. The Secret Power of Joy. Amen. So there's miracles in here. And if you would like this book, we're going to give it to you free. Free. Amen. So just contact our website, yes. www.markhankins.org and click on free book. Yes. Be on your home page or call yep. our office. We have yep. some nice folks. Boy, they're full of joy. Get ready. <laughs> You're about and they'll to... pray with you if you need yeah, prayer. Yeah, absolutely. They'll agree with you. And that's the number is on your screen, 318-767-2001. And if you're out of the country, you're watching this, God bless you. We mm -hmm. love you. There's no distance in the that's spirit. Right. We speak life and strength, but you can get a PDF version. Yes. This is awesome. That's so you amazing. can download this on your computer or whatever and uh, read this. I like to, I have on my devices, mm -hmm. uh, Apple books, yep. iBooks, and I have downloaded all these. So I can yep. take them with me. Yep. I can cut and paste and put them places, mm -hmm. or you can just get the free app. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. That thing is loaded. It's got everything. <laughs> uh, you know, Pastor George and Terry yes. Pearson, they said they listen to messages uh, every, day every day from the free app. You can visit our website and uh, get free digital downloads, watch our daily TV program, and view our upcoming schedule. Yes. We'd love to see you. Yes. See where we are, and if we're in your area, come, come. and bring some friends. <laughs> we had some friends come over there to, uh -huh. where were we? We West were just Texas. in West Texas, and they came all the way from New Mexico. Wow. Partners. Oh my yes. goodness, we got to meet them. We yes. had such a good time. Yeah. And if you're That's struggling in your joy, a lot of times you just put a sermon on, and I've done this before. Just put a sermon on, and the word he sends his just, he sends his word to help us, he does. and the word will just bring joy and turn things around. It so anytime you, that, yeah. anytime, any time of the day, day or night, you can just do that. Just turn it and on. feed your faith. Feed Amen. your faith. Amen. Every day, praise God. We know we we need to drink water yes, every day. Every day. Some of your trouble, you might need more water. <laughs> and we need to eat every day. Yes. Feed your faith. faith. Amen. Yes. Keep Amen. your joy level high. Amen. Praise God. This has been so fun, so Darcy. So fun. Thank yes. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. Just watch this again and share this with somebody. Yes. And um, praise God. I believe mountains are yes. just going flat. Yep. And you're on the bridge going over. Yes. Yep. Amen. So we speak life and health to you. We love you. Amen. And uh, nothing is impossible. That's All right. things are possible with God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. <laughs> Amen.